Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are watching this. Welcome to Let's Talk About. This is a new channel which will talk about topics ranging from sports, movies, music, TV series, traveling, and general events. For our first video, we have picked the big match coming on Sunday: Liverpool versus Manchester United. In my eyes, the greatest rivalry in British football. There may be a few old firm Derby fans who disagree with this, but in terms of sheer size of these two clubs, in my humble opinion. This is the greatest rivalry in British football. To understand the rivalry, we have to understand the history. During the 1800s, Liverpool had the biggest port in England, making it a thriving port city in terms of trade. Manchester, on the other hand, was a thriving industrial city where few of world's first industries were set up. The only problem was Manchester traders had to go to Liverpool to trade. Liverpool traders, on the other hand, charged them a lot of tariffs. This greed from the Liverpool traders led to the construction of the now famous Manchester Canal, bringing the sea directly to Manchester. Manchester thrived due to this, but it led to a huge economic setback in Liverpool. This is where the rivalry truly started. Liverpool Football Club was established in the year 1892 when the then owner of Anfield, John Holding, had a disagreement with the founder of Everton Football Club. Everton moved out, and this led to the formation of the new Liverpool Football Club. Manchester United, on the other hand, was formed in the year 1878 by the name of Newton Heath by railway factory workers. They changed the name to Manchester United in 1902. When we talk about the history of these two footballing institutions, we have to talk about the Hillsborough and the Munich plane disaster. On 15th April 1989, 96 people went to watch a game of football and never came back. This was a semi-final FA clash with Nottingham Forest, and to this day, this remains as one of the saddest day in football history. On 6 February 1958. British European flight crashed while trying to take off from Munich airport. 23 people lost their lives, including first team members and staff. To everyone impacted by this tragedy, I would like to say you will never walk alone. Getting back to the successful eras, Liverpool found great success in the 60s and early 70s under the leadership of the great manager Bill Shankly, lifting multiple leagues and cups. They had the most successful era under the guidance of great Bob Paisley, who led Liverpool to three Champions League and six league titles in just nine years. Kenny Dalglish or King Kenny carried this forward by helping Liverpool win six six titles in the 80s. Liverpool had a decline since the 90s until their resurgence under the current manager Jurgen Klopp. Manchester United had a very successful. Era under Sir Matt Busby, who led them to multiple league wins, he also won the European Cup or the Champions League, as you may know it, making Manchester United the first English side to win the Champions League. During the 70s and the 80s, while Liverpool were flying, United stagnated for a period until the arrival of a certain someone called Sir Alex Ferguson. He went on to have a legendary career over two decades, winning 13 Premier League and two Champions League, making him. Undoubtedly, the greatest modern-day manager in football. You don't have a rivalry until you have the success, and in this case, these two are the most successful clubs in England. Let's take a look at the trophy cabinet. Manchester United leads in terms of overall trophies by 66 to 65, but in terms of major trophies, Liverpool hold the edge with 43 wins to United's 41. In my opinion, these are the five trophies which are major trophies. The first one is the Premier League or the English League. Liverpool has 19 of them and United has 20 of them. The second one is the European Cup or the Champions League. Liverpool has six, while United has three. The third one is the FA Cup. Liverpool has seven FA Cup wins to United 12. The next one is the League Cup. Liverpool has eight of them to United five, and the th- final one is the Europa League or the UEFA Cup as it was known before. Liverpool has three of them to United one. If you compare these two clubs head to head record, in total 204 matches, United have won 80 to Liverpool 67, with 57 matches resulting in a draw. In terms of the league, these two have made 174 times, with United holding a lead of 68 to 57 there. These two have only won once in Europe, in the Europa League round of 16, where Liverpool ran out victors thanks to an amazing performance by Phil Coutinho. Talking about this season, United have a three-point lead over Liverpool in 17 matches, with these two currently occupying first and second spot on the table. Liverpool need a win to go top, whereas a draw will do for United. 
if we compare their form over past five matches, United has been flying, collecting 13 points from a possible 15. Liverpool, on the other hand, have struggled in their last three matches to score goals. They have won two, drawn two, and lost one in last five, collecting eight points over the period. Looking at their best players, Mo Salah has been the has had a great season till now and has been Liverpool's best player this season. United's best player this season has been Bruno Fernandes, who is arguably the best player in the league at right now. If you compare their stats, Mo Salah has 13 goals and 3 assists in 16 matches, where Bruno Fernandes has 11 goals and 7 assists in 17 matches. Both great numbers. Now coming to the tricky part, predicting the score line for Sunday. Always Manchester United has been flying in recent games. They have been exceptional in away matches, dropping points only to a Jamie Vardy inspired Leicester side. Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool had their struggle in recent weeks, but at their home Anfield, they are completely different beast altogether. Liverpool have not lost a match at home since April 2017. That's over three years, and that's the reason I have gone with a narrow 2-1 win for Liverpool. Please let me know in comments what you think will be the score on Sunday. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to remain updated to this channel. And please let me know your feedback for the video in comments. Follow me on Instagram at the rate of LTA434, and we'll be coming up with a new video next Friday. Take care, goodbye, and have a great weekend ahead. Bye bye.